Hello and welcome to another complete Cambridge IGCSE chemistry lesson where you'll learn absolutely everything you need to know on topic 9.6, extraction of metals. As always, we'll be following the Cambridge syllabus exactly and we'll learn absolutely everything you need to know for your final exam. Please note, I'm only posting half the topics in the syllabus here on YouTube. The entire syllabus is going up on my Patreon, link below. Also, the slides I use in my videos will eventually be available to download. Once done, I'll put a link to those in the description as well. Ores are naturally occurring rocks that contain metals or metal compounds in sufficient amounts to make it economically viable or cost-effective to extract them. Metals can be extracted from their ores more easily moving down the reactivity series. Highly reactive metals like sodium, potassium and aluminium react readily with oxygen and other elements, so extracting them from their ores usually involves more complex methods like electrolysis. Less reactive metals like zinc and iron can be extracted by reduction with carbon, because they both sit below carbon in the series. Unreactive metals like silver and gold are often found in their native or pure form and require minimal processing to extract. You need to describe how iron is extracted from its ore. So iron is extracted from iron 3 oxide, also known as hematite, in a tall chimney-like structure called a blast furnace. The hematite, as well as limestone and a carbon-rich fuel called coke, are fed into the top of the furnace and a blast of hot air enters near the bottom. A series of reactions take place inside the furnace, resulting in the formation of a waste product called slag and molten iron metal, which is siphoned off at the base. Stage 1 is the burning of carbon to provide heat and produce carbon dioxide. Carbon reacts with oxygen in the air, forming carbon dioxide gas. The heat released provides the high temperatures needed to drive the other reactions. Stage 2 is the reduction of carbon dioxide to carbon monoxide. The carbon dioxide gas from the first reaction reacts with more carbon higher up in the furnace to produce carbon monoxide. Because carbon dioxide loses oxygen, we say that it's been reduced. Stage 3 is the reduction of iron 3 oxide by carbon monoxide. Iron 3 oxide or hematite reacts with the carbon monoxide from the previous reaction to form molten iron metal and carbon dioxide gas. Stage 4 is the thermal decomposition of calcium carbonate or limestone to produce calcium oxide. Calcium carbonate decomposes or breaks down under the high temperature of the blast furnace to produce calcium oxide and carbon dioxide gas. Finally, stage 5 is the formation of a waste material called slag. The calcium oxide from the previous reaction reacts with silicon 4 oxide, which is the main impurity in iron ore, to form molten calcium silicate or slag. The slag, which forms a separate layer on the surface of the molten iron, is removed, leaving only the pure metal, which is siphoned off from the bottom of the furnace. Next, you need to state that the main ore of aluminium is bauxite and that aluminium is extracted by electrolysis. So unlike iron, aluminium sits above carbon in the reactivity series, which means it cannot be extracted by reduction with carbon. Instead, aluminium is extracted from purified bauxite by electrolysis. Okay, that's everything you need to know for core, so we'll move on now to the extended section. For extended, you need to state the symbol equations for the extraction of iron from iron 3 oxide. So the first stage is the burning of coke to provide heat and produce carbon dioxide. The symbol equation for this reaction is C plus O2 forms CO2. Next, the carbon dioxide is reduced to form carbon monoxide. C plus CO2 forms 2CO. Then, iron 3 oxide is reduced by the carbon monoxide to produce molten iron and carbon dioxide. The symbol equation is Fe2O3 plus 3CO forms 2Fe plus 3CO2. The fourth stage is the thermal decomposition of calcium carbonate or limestone to produce calcium oxide. The equation for this reaction is CaCO3 forms CaO plus CO2. Finally, the calcium oxide reacts with impurities in the molten iron, mainly silicon dioxide, to form molten calcium silicate or slag. The symbol equation for this reaction is CaO plus SiO2 forms CaSiO3. Finally, you need to describe the extraction of aluminium from purified bauxite by electrolysis. For everything you need to know on electrolysis, see topic 4.1, link below. 
Now before it can be electrolyzed, the aluminium oxide must be molten because only in a liquid state are the ions within the compound free to move to their respective electrodes. Because aluminium oxide has a high melting point, it's first dissolved in another aluminium compound called cryolite. Cryolite significantly lowers the melting point of aluminium oxide and improves the conductivity of the electrolyte. The electrolysis of aluminium oxide is carried out in a steel tank using carbon or graphite electrodes. The anodes are carbon blocks which are lowered into the molten electrolyte and the cathode is the lining of the tank. At the cathode, positive aluminium ions are reduced, forming pure molten aluminium which collects at the bottom of the tank and can be siphoned off. The ionic half equation for this reaction shows that each aluminium ion gains three electrons to form a neutral aluminium atom. At the anodes, oxide ions are oxidized, forming oxygen gas. The ionic half equation for this reaction shows that two oxide ions lose four electrons to form one oxygen molecule. Now the oxygen produced reacts with the carbon anodes, forming carbon dioxide gas. Because of this, the anodes wear out over time and need to be replaced regularly. Well done, you just covered absolutely everything you need to know on topic 9.6, extraction of metals. If you benefited from this video, remember to subscribe to the channel and check out my Patreon where I'm uploading the entire chemistry syllabus. Join me there for our next lesson on topic 10.1, water.